Minarchy says I was about to drop 500k into purpose until I heard that you don't believe in your own project as far as UBI is concerned. I think you're trolling uh, when you say that and you just want the response. I'm actually quite confident you are. I was about to do it when I was discussing it with my business partner last night. I found a few videos of you discussing your thoughts on UBI aspect of Doobie. Now, I would say Mr. Minarchy, hold on to, you know, to the version of you that, that did that and then in the next couple of months, or maybe, you know, start the next year, look back with a nice tear of sadness, but also a tear of happiness for the version of you that, you know, that did a bit more thorough re research. And yet you dance around talking about your thoughts on UBI. Thanks. Uh. I don't dance around it at all. Universal basic income is something or at least a version of it. We will need it for the future either way because things are getting more and more automated. But to me, it's not so much about universal basic income because Achieving that is going to be a very decentralized uh, approach anyway, where each country has their own system. But what I would like to do is I would like to pilot certain programs in countries where we can hit two birds with one stone, where we provide a universal basic, well, a basic income. It's not going to be universal because universal means the entire planet. So it's going to be, you know, basic for the area. And, and elevate these people out of poverty. And we will do that. We already were planning to do that with Save the Children, but uh, after the hit piece, we got canceled. So we had to, you know, we had to stop it, which feels kind of unfortunate. But now we have our own uh, Giving Works charity that will, will do so. And uh, we are actually already in, even in discussion to get people to come over here so that you know uh if we build a certain relationship with people that come from really poor countries we give them an opportunity to learn skills here and if they're really promising they can go back and implement these programs on the ground because it's very hard to um like it's just very hard to to do good like a lot of people think like, oh yeah, doing good is just about, you know, donating to charity or whatever, like, but it's much harder than that. You got to figure out which charity, which ones are more effective. And then even as a charity, a lot of these charities are damn ineffective. Um, and as a result, what you have is like, you know, you, 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 you donate a thousand dollars and only like a hundred dollars end up being spent in a way because everything else is just, you know, whatever. But what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to optimize this like crazy by working with locals that came over here that gained trust and can implement these projects like literally much faster and much more effective. And that is a very clear answer. It's much more clear than what you would get from, uh, from, from organizations trying to make you donate. And I'm going even further, like I don't even want people to donate. Like I'm trying to actually create projects that can make revenue by themselves and can fund what we do. So like when, 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 when you just look at it from a, from a skeptical angle, like we are promising as fuck. So there you got your answer. What people will do on giving works on the ground. Like focus on small villages first that are living in extreme poverty 
uh, and within a you know within all safety standards taken into account, provide basic income to all of them using Dubi. And um, like we would then work probably depending on the technological limitations in Uganda, we would work with mobile networks to provide for you know uh, transaction payments through SMS, which is already in place. If we would do something in Indonesia, we would see what technology is already there and use these, create net, create contacts and use these to basically implement a, a basic income program. But it's really depending from place to place, from area to area. You cannot just go to a random area and give them money. It doesn't work. What if there is now rivalry with another village or whatever and there is criminality or whatever? Like you got to really streamline these things properly. And that's where we benefit quite a bit because since we're not scaling it towards the entire planet, we can really pick very easy, uh, you know, very easy targets where all the stars align. Basically, you know, internet connectivity, close in the area, like uh, access to phone, mobile phone. If not, we can maybe provide it. Like having a, like a, a even a, like having a, a connection to trading. Uh, with money, because a lot of people don't realize extreme poverty areas don't even know what money is. There is areas in Indonesia, islands that don't even have money. They don't, they, they, they trade. They don't even know what, what, like if you'd go there and say, hey, we come here with basic income, they would just throw spears at you. Like, and that's the thing, a lot of people don't realize that, you know, depending on the challenges on the ground, you need different solutions. And that is the concrete answer to your question. More concrete than me saying like, oh, yeah, like, uh, uh, let's just, you know, yeah, like, 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 like portray a very simple picture saying like, yeah, we're going to do this, that, that, that. And that is why, you know, what we are doing is real. I'm not bullshitting people. I don't love money, man. I don't care about money. I don't, I don't, but I, I don't care about money. I just try to do good. But yeah, I addressed the question quite thoroughly. Tin, did you know the, the basic income already exists in Colombia? You can integrate with Dubi since Colombia is the third country in the world that trade Bitcoin. It's not that simple. Like, What we first need is an exemplar pilot program that we can use as a PR outlet to the outside world and everything has to align. I don't know Colombia as well. I know there is quite a drug issue in Colombia and drug gangs. I don't know if that's the case. I don't want to have a situation where we have to deal with warlords, you know, or with fucking, you know, uh, what is his name called? Uh, some uh, spin-off of... Uh, What was his name again? There's even a Netflix series. Escobar. I don't want a spin-off of, es of, of Pablo Escobar. You know? Don't want to deal with that. You can just check prps.io. 